Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Clear Code series, a series of our client success stories in the Clear Code. This is Gina, one of my Clear Code members. And Gina tried to heal her acne with prescriptions and other treatments for over a decade, which is really common, but finally discovered her root acne triggers through the Clear Code. And she's worked on upgrading her lifestyle over time and over the past year. So now that she can live her life confident and clear, and I'm I'm so excited to share and hear more about Gina's story. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So tell us, Gina, what did you do before you found the clear code? And since it's a decade, go as deep or as light as you would like to into those details. It was um, a long, long, long journey. I... You know, whenever I first started getting acne, you know, kind of started as blackhead. So, you know, didn't really think anything of it. And then over time, it just progressively got worse. And so as it was getting worse, I was trying, you know, more and more intense things to try to fix it. I had tried proactive. I had done that for a year. And actually, in the beginning, it seemed to be going pretty well. It cleared my blackheads almost immediately. And so I was very hopeful with that. But the cyst just kind of kept coming back and kept getting worse. And over time, it ended up making my skin flaky. I... the, all of the ingredients and it started bleaching my sheets and all my favorite clothes. And it was a nightmare. <laughs> Worse. And so been a year doing that, spent two years after that, working with a doctor and dermatologist going through prescription after prescription. They tried individual prescriptions. Um, I tried Retin-A. I have, I still have tubes and tubes of different things and I have pill bottles with all kinds of different things they did, but they tried one-on-one little prescriptions and then they started doubling them up thinking, well, maybe we can do oral and topical. Let's just keep this going. And the whole journey all throughout that, through all throughout that process, I was just thinking, will anything ever fix this? Am I, am I just the person that's just going to have acne? Cause none of these things seem to be adding up to solve my, my issues. And so I eventually hit a point of if everything was fine in my body, I don't think that I would have acne. I think something has to be wrong on a scale that's not associated with my skin. And that's when I found your YouTube channel and <laughs> yeah, started, started this journey. <laughs> Is that what you searched on to find me? Because there's all these. Yeah, yeah. I think it was one of those. I saw something on Pinterest or Instagram. It brought me to YouTube. I spent an entire month just watching every single one of your YouTube videos, going through all of that. And I was seeing an improvement with that. But I hit a point towards the end of that month where I had a very stressful period of time and my acne got worse. And that's... That's when I decided to join the clear code because I knew, okay, I need some help because I'm following these things I'm learning, but I know that there's other things going on and too many layers for me to do this by myself. Yep. That's a super common challenge. I think that a lot of us and a lot of clients get to where they will see a little improvement with action steps, right? Like they will see maybe 25% of an improvement, but they'll feel like there's still a missing link to the situation. Mm -hmm to the process. So you said you worked with dermatologists. Do you remember when you first started breaking out? Kind of how old you were, Gina? So I was probably in middle school is when, so I've looked back at pictures because I I wanted to see, okay, how did this progress? I want to look at this from a bird's eye view now that I know what I know. So in middle school, you can start, start to see my skin is getting oily. I'm starting to get blackheads. You can see it in these pictures and you'll see maybe a cyst or two on my cheeks. And then once I got into high school, those cysts just steadily increased. And so it was all my cheeks and my back and sometimes underneath my jaw, but it would depend on kind of what was going on, on where it was on my face and how severe it was. Okay. And so then you find me on YouTube. Do you remember feeling nervous at all about kind of hopping on the call with me or were you like, let's do it? I was, I was nervous. I was excited, (laughs) but I was nervous just because of with how I felt with everything that I had tried previously. I, in my head, I just told myself, 
there's nothing that's going to fix me. I'm just this way. And so I, the thing that I was scared of was trying this and it's still not working. And so that, that was my biggest fear of like, this is my last resort. This is the last thing I can come up with to do to solve my acne, you know, mystery. And so I was nervous that I, you know, that you would say, yeah, you're not a good fit or, you know, I would start the program and it, wouldn't actually make a difference for me. That's yeah. super common. What do you think the thing was that made you say it'll work or, and, or you're willing to take that risk? Cause that's super yeah. common. I think so after I joined the clear code, you know, learning all of the things through these modules, you know, you get, you get so much good information and you're able to really learn the details, like the little details of uh, what causes your acne. And so after seeing those modules, I was able to already look up, look back within that year. And I see, okay, this time period was super stress-free. I was having a great time. I was eating well, I was eating food for my garden and, you know, like just as good as it could be. And my skin was looking really great. But then the other times when I'm not really having access to a lot of vegetables, I'm getting more stressed. That's when I see pictures of myself, my skin is getting worse. And I'd also already, I had been keeping track of whenever I was getting cysts throughout the month. So I knew that I was getting cysts whenever I started ovulation and right before my period started. So I, that was consistent. I knew there was a hormonal link there, but I just needed to learn how to resolve that. Yeah. So would you say that was like your biggest kind of aha moment in the clear code, the biggest learning that you took from it? I think my biggest aha moment was how big of an impact stress was making on my acne because I have always been a little bit stressed my whole life. I'm just, I'm, I've been a tense person, I guess, but throughout the process of being in the clear code, I really was able to connect these big stressors in my life to my skin getting worse. And so that was kind of an eye-opening moment because even within the clear code, I had a big life change. It caused a lot of stress. So my skin was getting worse, even though I was in the clear code and I was following everything else. I had so much stress where it was throwing me off for everything I could imagine. My hormones were going out of whack. I wasn't caring about my sugar intake as much. And it really, even though I'm doing all these great things with food, I had to find a way to manage the stress to keep everything else all in check. Calm and steady. I mean, this is one of the biggest things that most people struggle with. So what do you think have been the biggest action steps that you've taken to manage your stress levels to positively affect your skin? I think so many things. I think taking my time with a lot of the action steps in clear code, that has been super crucial for me. And so you know, whenever you're in the clear code, you're learning about all these different things that are impacting your acne. And I hit a point where I'm like, okay, I know because I am stressed. I am overwhelmed easily. That's just how I am in this current moment in my life. I know that I need to take this one step at a time. And so I'm taking one action step and I'm letting, letting all those benefits kind of settle in, get that a part of my routine. And then I'm taking my next action step. So I just taking my time with that allowed me to not view it as a rushed process because this is a lifelong change. You can't just flip a switch and decide you're going to be a different person. <laughs> you know, yeah. the same thing goes with your lifestyle. And that's really what's impacting my skin the most is my lifestyle. And so Needing to take my time with that was probably the biggest thing. I love that because I love that for so many reasons. One of the things that I've been working on for myself in life is the idea of habit stacking. Mm -hmm. Is that where you've learned that from? Yeah. Okay, cool. So there's, there's a few different things that I've done. My action steps personally for also just managing my stress. Um, but I am doing those one at a time, you know, so starting a few more self-care things for myself, like having an evening every single week where that's my evening. 
I, nobody gets to touch that evening. I love it. Yeah. I do whatever I want on that evening. I will, you know, do little like hair treatment. I'll take a bath, do, do all of those things, make myself like a turmeric latte, you know, some, something like that, that I have one evening every single week where I know nobody gets to touch it. All my friends know, okay, Wednesday nights, you can't make plans with me. I'm not going. So (laughs) yeah, Gina's not in attendance that evening. (laughs) <laughs> but I have that for myself, starting to do more exercises that I enjoy. The enjoy is the key part for me because I I don't I don't want to do running or cardio. Yep. That's just not something that makes me happy. Yeah. But I found a hot yoga class that I've actually loved. And because I love it, I'm pulled in and I want to go to it. I want to go more than once a week. I try to go at least three times. So that's where I'm at my happiest is whenever I'm able to really commit to something that's making me feel good. And that's how I'm balancing out my stress. I I need my moments where I'm feeling great to balance out the moments that are a little bit more stressful. I love that. Cause we can talk about like eating cruciferous vegetables or Mm -hmm. all the things all day, right? That information is actually a little bit readily available. Mm -hmm. The most important part about the clear code I find for most clients is the integration of all of the things that support Mm -hmm. them into a lifestyle that really keeps their skin clear for long life. And so I know that you had mentioned that that was kind of the biggest, one of the biggest results for you. So I'll, I'll kind of put this in two parts, this question, but how are you feeling about your skin now? We can start there. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. And like, to be completely honest, there's, there's still moments where I have something come up, but I do, I know where it's coming from and I know what I need to do. And so even talking to my fiance before the call a few days ago, I'm like, I have one cyst. I'm like, I, I'm not completely clear. I can't do this. And he turns to me, he's like, you are clear. Your skin is clear. And I, you know, hearing that and just looking back at pictures of myself, like one little cyst yeah. is nothing compared to where I was. Yes. And it's really shown so much growth over this past year. Yeah, I totally feel that. I, I posted on my stories the other day, actually. I think I've had like one breakout a year, mm-hmm. maybe clear my skin. And especially like when you're newly clear, you're going to have maybe one every six weeks, one every eight weeks. Like it takes a while for your skin to really calm down, for inflammation to lower, all the things. But when we've had acne for a long time, we'll think like that a little bit. And we'll be like, I have one. It's coming back. It, nothing worked. It's it's all for naught. Nothing worked. <laughs> I'm screwed. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that. It's super common and it's very interesting because I'll have clients come to me and they'll be completely clear, but they'll have like one thing and they're very stressed out about it. And I have to really like pull up to 50,000 feet and be like, do you see this? And they're like, (laughs) oh my, oh my, (laughs) right? Because we have this perception of ourselves as having acne and you don't really have acne anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. And now, you know, I've got a little bit of hyperpigmentation, but that's it. I mean, every day it's fading more and more. And even one of my friends told me like, at this point, it just looks like you have freckles. Like you really don't know. And (laughs) so I'm very proud of that one. Yeah. But you know, still, I know what it's from. So if, if I am having a bad day or anything like that, looking in the mirror, I do have to remind myself, this is healing. This is what healing looks like. Mm -hmm. And it's not just going to go away the moment that the cyst is gone. My, my skin does hyperpigmentation very quickly. And so, you know, for me, it takes a little bit more time for it to go away, but it will fade in time. And I know that. So I'm able to kind of keep myself grounded, even though, you know, I might still see a little tiny dark mark somewhere, but. Oh, I feel that when I cleared my acne for the first time, I tell the story often, I, it was clear. And I took a walk because I live in New York. I took a walk and I was and I was like, I'm looking fine. And <laughs> oh, why? I walked by a window and I saw all of this texture and scarring on my face. Yeah. And I was so dejected. Like that is the word. I was like, 
I, I really felt like it was a life sentence, my scars too. Like I was like, oh, well, this is my life now. I was so sad. I remember, but that it's my favorite problem for all of you guys. When you guys come to me and you're like, I'm dealing with scarring you understandably, you feel emotionally distressed about it, but I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, it's going to get so good. Cause scars fade. Like yeah. they can fade in increasing or decreasing amounts of speed, depending on yeah. tolerance levels for irritation, all that. So yeah. besides clear skin, which is obviously key and fantastic and amazing, <laughs> any other result or experience or things that have happened that you would say are also like amazing results of being on the clear code and, and, or experiencing on the clear code. Yes. Plenty. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of okay. things. I would love to hear them. Yeah. One of my favorite things, and this is probably just because of, I didn't know that this was related to my hormones, my nails, my nails used to, you looked at them and they would break. They were so brittle and just, they couldn't handle any form of pressure at all. But now I, I mean, I'm growing them out. I don't know if you can see. They look so good. You know? <laughs> oh my God. That makes me so happy. So yeah, I'm like, oh, I get to have long nails for the first time in my life. And I always thought that my nails, my acne were just hereditary from my mom because her nails broke the moment you moved and she had acne up until she hit menopause. So she had her acne throughout her whole life. So I just thought, well, this is my destiny to just have this for my whole life as well. But actually after healing, I'm able to see, oh, I can actually control this. This isn't out of my hands. I I have an input mm-hmm. on what's going to happen to my body and, you know, how well things are growing. My hair is improved as well. You know, my cycle is cycle. Yeah, my cycle is just I mean, easy breezy. Like I I mean, I think even my mental health has improved because it's also joined with viewing myself in a much more positive context. I I don't look in the mirror with sadness ever anymore. You know, that, that used to be the case. You know, I look in the mirror, I'm just thinking, whoa, I have this, this big event today or something going on today. And this is what I look like. You know, that, that was how I used to think. And I'm also somebody who I don't wear makeup, even, even with all of my acne, and I'm sure you'll show pictures, even with all my acne, I did, I never wear makeup. And so that is out for everyone to see. And so it, it was hard. It was hard to go out and be excited to be out and about because you're just walking around thinking that everybody's staring at your face, but I don't have that feeling anymore. And so I just feel lighter. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you see a person that I didn't prep you on that is linking back to everything you said though. So I don't think it'll be too much, but if it is, we can pause. So a lot of people, when they go into acne clearing, they think they have to remove sugar, dairy, gluten, and, or if, and when they come to the clear code, they see it as an eight week thing. My thing, my skin has to be clear in eight weeks. You've taken a much longer journey in a way that's allowed you to integrate things. And I wanted to know along the lines of like positive mental health in your skin and serving yourself, how much of this journey has been about self love and self care, as opposed to just healing your skin to get your skin clear? Because I feel like actually it's been about like nourishing yourself, knowing yourself, understanding your body better. And that's led to clearer skin. Would you agree with that? I completely agree with that because with even my diet, it is it is different than how it was. I'm much more mindful about the things that I'm eating, you know, the portions of certain things. If something's high glycemic, I do smaller portions now, you know, I keep that in check. I still eat pasta. I love pasta, but you know, it's you know, I have pasta, but I also have a salad and I load up my pasta with veggies. I've got my protein, you know, you're just adding to it, not necessarily taking away. Yeah. So the food portion has really only changed in that sense for me. But most of this has come from being aware of where my head is at, where my stress levels are at, making sure I'm checking in with myself and knowing, okay, I'm feeling a bit nervous today. I'm just feeling jittery. Maybe I shouldn't go drink a sugary drink on an empty stomach because I know that in this state, it's going to impact me even more. 
So being more aware of that. So that way I can make good choices for my body and, you know, keep, keep my skin looking great, keep my hair growing long and my nails growing long. You know, there's so many layers to the benefits so far to where I, none of it is worth giving up for a, you know, sugary drink on an empty stomach, which not to say I have a sugary yeah. latte probably every week, maybe once or twice a week, but it's yeah. not on an empty stomach. So, you know, that's the point. <laughs> like, listen, you can have the donuts, you can do the things, but let's do it like in a way that's actually going to serve you. So you don't feel yeah. this big spike and crash. Yeah. And again, we've chatted too about how the length, it kind of took you about a year to go through the full program, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I would prefer that over eight weeks to clear and then you crash and burn. I would prefer it taking a year any day because I know I see your skin now and I see you now and I know your skin is clear for life. Like I know it's clear for life. And that's really my goal because I I say this all the time too. Clear skin is like a byproduct of what I do. Like what I really do is help people heal themselves from the inside out. I I should be careful the word heal, but clear their acne naturally from the inside out. And so much of that, like clear skin becomes the byproduct. I would prefer it take a year for everyone if they get clear skin for life and they integrate it in a way that actually is sustainable for themselves. hundred percent. So my final question for you is what would you tell maybe your former self or anyone who's like wondering about natural acne clearing and they're nervous about it? What would you tell them? And, or would you give them any advice about what it's like to start to heal your acne naturally and what type of benefits you'll reap if and when you choose to do that? I would say that this whole process is improving your whole life. It's not just improving your skin. It's improving your whole life. And everyone deserves to better themselves. Everyone deserves to feel good. Everyone deserves to feel confident. And so in no way can eating cruciferous vegetables, you know, negatively impact your lifestyle. So Mm -hmm. to me, there's not really any negative that comes out of this process. The only thing that you're doing is improving yourself. Mm -hmm. And so even if you're scared, you're going to level up, you're going to upgrade yourself. You're going to be the best version that you can be in this moment. And I think it's beautiful, regardless of how long or how short it takes you to get there. It's a beautiful process. Oh, I love that so much, Gina. (laughs) So much. I was delighted to have you join us as a client. And I'm so delighted to have you experience the results you've had in the exact perfect timing in the way for you the way that's been best for you. So thank you again for chatting with me and doing this call with me. Thank you so much.